and first again and again um i will put my videos on in order but i've made two videos tonight one showing some dsp i made the other day um two i did a video on making some dsp and now i'm sh making a video on showing you how i use the dsp so let me just show you quick this is the one i made the other day and these um, earlier on i made some po uh, po pasties and poses and poses and and i also did um oh, la, la, la. special reason and i come up with this card it's a little cute thing not a lot of sentiment going on but i think it says it's for yourself thankful grateful blessed and uh I'm going to show you how I made this, and it's a nice little fold as well, it's, it's lovely on a desk. You can have it like that, you can have it so you can see what the person's wrote inside. So, what you're going to need is a piece of uh, crumb cake. I do apologise for that. Uh, I scored at two and a half and six, which we're now going to burnish our fold lines. It is gone ten o'clock again, and now I'm a glutton for punishment. And then we're going to fold this piece back. So that's 10 by 5.5, scored at 2.5 and 6. You're also going to need some Whisper White. They're all cut at 5 and a quarter. One is 3 and 3 quarters. One is 3 and a quarter. And the other one is 2 and a quarter. And don't forget, like I'm saying, all 5 and a quarter in length. I'm using the two pieces of DSP that I, uh, the three pieces of DSP I made earlier. This one is going here. And this one is three and a quarter. And again, they're all five and a quarter. This one's three and a quarter by five and a quarter. This one here is three and a quarter. No, sorry. Two and a half by five and a quarter. And this one is one and a half by five and a quarter. And we are going to be adding, you need three strips of the silver glimmer paper. This one, believe it or not, again, they're all five and a quarter, so you can't go wrong. As long as everything's five and a quarter, this is one eighth. It's just a slither, but uh, it's so easy. I'll show you in a second how to do that. These two are half inch by um, five and a quarter. And I'm just going to add these next to here just to break it up i thought it was cute as well so i'm just going to go ahead and attach everything apart from this one so i am going to use my atg gun and i'm going to try and be as quick as possible because i am absolutely shattered i've been up the hospital today um but as you know me, I'm a little true crack, crack on, as they say. And I am tired and ready for my bed. So, there's our first piece. I'm only adding uh, dip in. Because it's quite a sturdy um, gun, that is. And the adhesive is really good. Again, nice border. Try to keep them level. Uh, my dear, I have not put Whisper White on the back because it's basically the back of the card. So our little glimmer people will take away the eye from the Whisper White. You can have this any way you want, so. As long as you've got a lovely little border, a quarter inch border all the way round, way to go. So now I'm going to attach these. It's actually a really quick card, this is. Once you've cut all your paper to size, you will be knocking these out in no time. So I I added the paper on the end. I'm going to add it on the inside on this one. So I'm going to attach my own homemade designer series paper to this side. And I'm going to add my strip at the same time. Just a fun little card. There's new ways to fold cards. We're all looking for 
different ideas and anyone who wants to copy this card and case it you're more than welcome you don't have to ask permission i grant it to you <laughs> i know i'm dull am i but uh this is why we do the video and this is why i do the video so you can copy case it do it yourself put your own spin on it this is just an idea from me to you so uh Knock your socks off, as they say. I wouldn't deny anybody anything, I swear. But if you need any help with anything, um, you're more than welcome to go to uh, my blog, send me an email. I will always answer. Never leave you hung and dry. I will... Well, this is why we're here, so we can be there for you. And our motto at Stamping Up is inspire share and create so if we can create something that inspires you for you to do it then we've done our job i'm going to use a little bit of tomboy on this one because it's a little bit too uh narrow for my uh snail <laughs> as you can tell i don't think uh, my runner would take it but this is my third video of the night you won't get to see them all till tomorrow but uh You'll see why. So I'm just putting a little trim right on the edge of this. It's only an eighth. And if I pull that down, I love the tombow here. Look at that, I've lined it up perfect. Press that down. Put a little bit on my finger now. And this, our oh, adorable, that's so cute. Um, now I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which is from the pastes and poses. It's a mouthful, mind you. You try to keep your false teeth in. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, bless me. I think I've had enough now. Where are we trimmed? I just go over with my bone fold. It flattens them back down. It's great. So I am using the Thankful, grateful, blessed. And I'm loving the island in indigo. So I'm going to try and line this up. As straight as possible. And I am. I'm going to pull it down just because I don't want to get my head in it. But That's me done. I just, uh, how beautiful. Look at them colours. You can do anything else. It doesn't need anything else. How quick is that card? Um, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a share and a subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it was a really quick one tonight, uh, boys and girls, but it is my third one of the evening. If you're a subscriber... You will be notified tomorrow morning, once they all go on. I will be up at the crack of dawn, still probably converting and adding them onto YouTube. But, I love it. <gasps> How cute is that? Oh, there we are. Um, you could always add some um, Dazzling Diamonds, some uh, Winter Stella, some Rhinestones. But I think it's just kind of a little bling of its own. So, thanks again for watching. Until next time. Bye.